Uh, so, Karibu sana, bro. Uh, thanks, thanks, man. That's cool. So, first of all, just introduce yourself. Tuambie, wewe ni nani na unafanya nini? I, I did uh, cinematography for the film. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Today, Londo premiere, and, uh, despite the COVID and all that, how is the general feeling about about midlife crisis? Ah, uh, Maze, the response was quite good, man. I'm impressed, Maze, because like, Maze, uh, I'm not a story of COVID, but the turnout is amazing, Maze. And uh, you know, Joe, like, this film was supposed to premiere on 28th of March, but then we pushed it to to E time due to COVID. And I'm honestly happy for the for the feedback and the and the turnout, man. Wow, amazing, amazing, amazing! And being the cinematographer of uh, of this uh, amazing film, yeah. how was it? How was the experience in filming uh, such a story? Um, it was intense because we had like uh, we had like less time to film, but uh, we were pushing ourselves, you know. And uh, it was a, it was an amazing experience, and it you know like. I, my job is not about me alone. I have a team and uh, we work with different people. So we tried to uh, tell a good story through lighting, through the shots, and uh, we hope that guys like it. Yeah. Wow, amazing, amazing. So, for the people who haven't watched the film, yeah. what should they expect and why should they come and watch this film? Hey! <laughs> well, <laughs> Mazi, um, like it's, it's a good story and um, it's relatable, it's a Kenyan story, it's also a universal story and uh, they're going to have an experience. Yeah. Wow, amazing, amazing. Thank you so much for coming through and all the best and congratulations. Thanks, thanks man. Amazing, amazing. VP bro, poor sana. Karibu sana kwa shoto mbeo na ituwa nani na leo mekuja kufanya nini? Uh, my name is Benel Mohamed. I'm an actor, casting director. I've come to watch this film. Abu, support Abu and Zipi Okoth. And I always and come and watch Kenyan films because I'm, I'm part of this team. Wow, amazing, amazing. Now, Leo, first day uh, of premiering uh, Midlife Crisis, despite the COVID-19 and all that, turned out to make amazing. What do you feel about the film in general? Our film, I think, people have come to understood that and with the pandemic and all what we have been doing and how we are sharing on social media, people are and now supporting us and because the time of the time of pandemic, um, they, people only value your artists into their lives and they, uh, we, we kept them entertained in short. Wow, amazing, amazing. Na unangalia kwenye industry kwa saizi na turn out na everything. Unafil tuko wapi as an industry? At an industry to come Halipo Asai, and people are accepting Kenyan talent. Uh, people are supporting us. Uh, even with me, people are whenever I have a film or I'm I do something, they always curious and ask me how they can watch it, how they can access it. So people are appreciating what we're doing right now. Amazing, amazing. Na kwa wale ambao wajaweza kuwatch film, wajapata chance kujua kwa na film today the first day of premiere. Unaweza waambia nini? What are they missing out and why should they come? They're missing a lot and they have to support their own. That is the reason they should come. Wow, amazing, amazing. I think that's that's simple and straight to the point. Thank you so much for coming through and all the best. Thank you so much, bro. And I appreciate it. Awesome, awesome. So, first of all, Dr. Tari, karibu sana kwa show. Asante sana. Amazing, the first day of premiere. Let's start from there. The first day of premiere and the turnout is overwhelming. How does that make you feel as a producer and also the writer, the storyteller of this, of this amazing film? I just want to say I'm so excited. We have had to tell people sold out and no coming so that they can catch it on the cinemas. Yeah, and uh, we are glad that Anger Diamond uh, really opened their doors and uh, on Wednesday, Friday and Saturday it will be at the Anger Diamond cinemas. Yeah. Wow. So w are your expectations met in terms of performance, in terms when you're watching the film and everything else? I have watched the film I think over 30 times. After, after the final edit, you know, just checking what could be there. And I think the whole crew did their part. This is my first debut feature film. 
And I can tell you, I'm like, wow, it's work, but I'm happy. <laughs> wow, amazing, amazing. And we're looking at the industry right now being recognized in the whole of Africa and also the whole of the world. Uh, basically, Africa is on the limelight and with the platforms such as Netflix, which are here with us. And we've seen uh, films in Kenya, such as the Sincerely Daisy, now 46, 46 that is premiering very soon on Netflix. How we seeing midlife crisis on such platforms? We will be glad to see it there, <laughs> but uh, we can only dream for now. Yeah. Amazing, because basically with the storyline and also the cast was so amazing. Uh, do you share the same sentiments with me? You see, this story is uh, picked from real life stories of four women. Like, it's, it's, it's fiction, but it's inspired by real stories. So... It, ha it is very close to the truth and that's why I think people are feeling very sentimental about it. Uh, but as a director and co-writer, because we wrote it with Gina Kinyi, we feel like at least we spoke the truth out in people's hearts and feel. And for me, I think that's everything. Amazing. And did you face any challenges filming uh, Midlife Crisis? Of course. Even getting equipment was hell, but Abdi came through. We had some uh, of the key cast members turn away the, the day to the show, but we got replacements immediately. And of course, finances <laughs> was crazy. And then COVID happened. We were supposed to premiere this on 28th of March. Then COVID happened. And we are just happy that the president raised uh, the curfew hours to 11 or let me say to 10 p.m. And now here we are. We're just so glad to share it with the world. Yeah. Wow, amazing, amazing. And basically, some of the things that we haven't been seeing uh, in the film industry, collaboration and all that, we can see a lot of partnership here. So probably you can shed some light about the partnership, how you came about this, and is, is it the way to go for filmmakers? Because I understand filming in Kenya is very, very hard in terms of budget-wise, the challenges that you have mentioned earlier. If you want to do it alone, it will be super, super, super expensive. But I decided to go the collaboration way because we have got Abri who came in with equipment, Film Studios came in also with uh, the other technical equipment. We have got Cafe Luna who are in charge of post-production. And here I was also in charge of production. And even the actors have got shares in this movie because for me it's about collaboration. Because if, if I took all that matter that I want to do a movie, I am everything. I don't think we could have done such a good movie. But I did not want to compromise on quality, on standard. And so I said, it's better to collaborate because if you do a good movie, the returns will also be high. If you do a, a cheap movie, the returns will also be So it's better to collaborate with people and do something. Uh, basically, basically, before I let you go, for those who people haven't watched the film, where can they watch the film and why should they watch the film? If you want to catch Midlife Crisis and you missed the premiere because it was sold out, Catch it at Anger IMAX Diamond. Wednesday at 3 p.m., Friday and Saturday at 5 p.m. And tell others about it. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much, Zippy.